hey welcome back to the lecture so now in this lecture let's look at the address space so this we have already discussed in the previous video but let's take a look into this uh, waveform very closely once the master produces the start condition you know that the address phase follows right the address phase is collection of eight bits and here you can see that this is the first clock cycle after the start condition second third fourth fifth and sixth and this is seventh so this is the address to seventh clock cycle this is the address of the slave and at the eighth clock cycle if sda is uh, zero then it's a write operation and at the eighth clock cycle if sda is one then it's a read operation so you should remember this and now let's understand what is acking and knacking so this is eighth clock cycle so ninth clock cycle is actually the place for the ack or knack now the acknowledge signal is defined as follows the transmitter releases the sda line during the acknowledge clock pulse so the receiver can pull the sda line low and it remains stable low during the high period of the clock pulse so for example this is the high period of the clock pulse and during this clock pulse if the sda line is zero then it is accepted as ack and if sda line is high at this position then it is considered as knack so you should remember this point so the acknowledge takes place after every byte the acknowledge bit allows the receiver to signal the transmitter that the byte was successfully received and another byte may be sent the master generates all clock pulses including the acknowledge that is the ninth clock pulse so the transmitter always expects the ack or knack at the ninth clock cycle so you should remember this all right so this is how a knack looks like at the ninth clock cycle if the sda line is full to high then that is knack remember this point so when the sda line remains high during the ninth clock pulse this is defined as not acknowledge signal the master can then generate either a stop condition to abort the transfer or a repeated start condition to start a new transfer 